hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm about to take you guys behind the scenes of the clark atlanta university homecoming fashion show that i was just so lucky to be a part of i'm just so thankful for this experience it definitely was a 10 out of 10 shout out to my girl shayla who asked me to be a part i'm just so excited to show y'all um all the footage that i got so just buckle up baby because we finna get to it Okay, so of course, we got to start off with the model calls, okay? But when I tell you, I don't know how they chose this lineup, but baby, everybody was eating. Literally, like, I'm talking the girls, the the girls, the girls, however you say the girls, the girls, the ladies, the guys. Everybody was just getting to it. Everybody was eating, like, it was just, it made it so hard to like choose your own models because like it was just so much good to choose from like I don't know I just need somebody to teach me how to walk because why can't I do this like I be done broke my ankle <laughs> I be done broke my ankle trying to walk like these folks but honey one of these days they gonna have to show me a little one two a little something something because it just it just immediately give bad bitch if you're gonna be able to walk like that like unstoppable literally but anyway child yes clap it up clap it up because every single last one of y'all ate and i wish i could just go and tap everybody on their shoulder and let them know they be eating <laughs> but yeah so after the model call um we went ahead and chose our models so i had seen one and seen two so I found my models and wrote my name on their pictures. So wouldn't nobody else try to, you know, snatches, give me him. None of that was going on. We went ahead and we stamped it. So I only had like a week and a half, maybe two weeks to get everything done. So I went with some stuff that I had already started on just to make it a little bit easier for me to have everything finished before the day of. So I chose those first two outfits and then... They was like that they needed some um some more garments for their uh scene two, which was 70s and 80s. So I went to the fabric store and I found this fabric. And it gives like 70s disco. Cause immediately when I saw it, it's like bedazzled. It got like little rhinestones in it. So I'm thinking immediately flare sleeve. I gotta do a flare sleeve. So if I'm gonna do a flare sleeve, nine times out of ten. I'm going to make it a dress, right? So, got the fabric, went home, started cutting it up. I started with the dress base first because it doesn't take that much fa- hey, he Why is he coming in here yelling? Oh, they get on my nerves so bad. Anyway, I started with the base because the sleeve doesn't take that much fabric and it's easier to start with. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, listen, I'm trying to get this recorded. So if y'all hit him, just disregard because it's like 17 folks I live with. So I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, so I'm just cutting the sleeve out. I cut that out twice. And this is it when I took it to the fitting the next day. She cute. I know. I know. This day was dress rehearsal too. So they had us like split up upstairs and downstairs. So they had me in the the boys basketball team locker i want to say something like that i don't know i can't remember but right here i'm just waiting on my models to get here so i was doing a little hand sewing to keep myself busy i had to put the fringes on there by hand i couldn't do it on the machine because it was, it was probably going to tear my machine up so i did it by hand instead and so after I got finished with that, you know I had to go be nosy because it's my first time at this school and I really wanted to like see the whole building. So so I walked into the gym where the show was going to be and I caught the dancers rehearsing. So that was cool because I know I probably wasn't going to be able to see it because I was going to be backstage majority of the time. So I had to get in where I fit in, child, and see a little something, something. 
yeah, I got back to my little station and had my third model come and try on. And, of course, I always end up sewing the day of the show. So, this is me sitting at my machine, um, getting ready to make some last-minute changes. And this was, like, right before the show was about to start. Mind you, my models was in scene one and scene two, like, the first two scenes. So, really had to get that done quick. And actually, here's one of my babies right here. I actually got a couple of clips of her, so I'm gonna insert them um in between. But she she ate and she walked the hell out the dress too. I really hope they don't mind me stealing this from their homecoming page, but like I just needed y'all to see like what the dress was giving on the runway. Like, baby, please, who you know. Come on, ponytail. Chill. You see her. Come on. Stop. It's the movement for me. Like, that's what do it for me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but sh I can be. You feel me? Like, look at her. Bye. Uh, she ate. I don't care. Bye. Moving on, moving on. So, the girl in the green right here. Yeah, that's me too. I got to find, I got to see if I can find the um, video for her dress as well and find it. Hmm. Y'all see my girl coming up there in the back? How long? I mean, like, come on. Who you know? A moment of silence for the train. Amen. Child, okay, you ate that. Hmm. Don't play with her. Like... And hold on, hold on, there's more. Uh, uh, yeah. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. She got the baddest walk I've ever seen. Even from the model call, I knew, like, oh, yeah, I got to have her. She just, she just know what to do. Like, it's so crazy. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of scene one. Clap it up, clap it up. Y'all did amazing. Purr, big purr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for my scene two, baby. I don't know. I just don't think y'all are ready for Shayla. Like, she gets down. She don't play, okay? Like, she gets down. I got all the angles from this, baby. Listen. That gold on her butter pecan skin. Yep, chef kiss baby. You see it? Kiss by K. Yeah. Get into the strut though. Y'all not seeing my girl at all. Like, yeah. The baddest. Don't ever play with her in your life. Okay, okay. My three eight. They came and they did what they need to do. But however, I'm not the only designer that ate up this night, okay? Every look was, like, so unique and different and tailored to its own designer. It's crazy. And one thing about it, they put on a show, okay? Them models, they did what they needed to do, okay? They did. Like, be for real. What show you know going this hard? Nobody. Like, come on. Put some respect on them, for real. Like, get into the look. The boots, eating. The dress, eating. Fresh cut on them. Don't play with them. Hold on now. Hold on. Come on, routine. Come on, routine. Hmm. Y'all is not seeing them, like. Like, uh, the choreography. Y'all is not. Who y'all know doing it like this, for real? The visuals. Come on. I mean, like, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Like, like, you really don't even have to say nothing but just watch. Literally. Everything speaks for itself. So simple yet so dramatic. Elegant. That's all you can say. Huh. These folks did not come to play with y'all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. 
Hold it. Hmm. No strings attached, baby. Yeah. Huh. Y'all. She a bad one, too. She did her thing. Mm. What? Come on, now. Oh! Ciao. Who you know? Who you know? That went stupid. She did that, too. They went crazy. She ate that. I ain't lying. She killed them. Cold case. First 48. Like, hold on, hold on. This the duo right here. This is the duo right here, baby. This is what I was talking about, the girls, honey. They, we really could have just had a whole show with just them. I ain't lying. And if I had enough time, I definitely would, ooh, honey. Mm -mm. I definitely would have had something for them. They got one up on everybody. I ain't lying. They ate that so bad. Run it back to my girl, Shay Shay, one more time. Okay. She giving the girls avant-garde, baby. Like, y'all ain't seen nothing like this. No, Will. Stop it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I had a ball. I had a time. Even watching from backstage, like, it was just amazing. Everybody did so good. All the designers and the models and the production team did they big one. I just, uh, I hope they ask me to do it next time. <laughs>